after preparation, yes. you realize even the weeds will not actually be a problem. The lizard day we did the weeding. At night it rained. Yes. Tomorrow morning it was like we had planted the weeds. You also prepare for the worst, as you expect the best. Mm. Make hay when sun shines. We are on the preparation. We are preparing to plant. Uh, some farmers are planning to do different crops, beans, carrots, uh, tomatoes, cabbages, because the rains are about to fall. But other farmers are doing it differently, not just like us who are just plowing the land, are waiting for the rain to fall, then drop the seeds and uh, start farming maize or starting any other crop. Then at the end of it, we start complaining about the market. Some farmers are doing it differently. I'm so much excited by um, the classes I'm getting each and every day. When you see me visiting farmers, when you see me doing farm visit, when you see me telling me I'm in a different location, I'm there to learn, I'm there to teach, uh, but mostly I'm there to learn. I've seen this, this one farmer who is doing things differently, who is farming differently, and uh, if you want to learn from them, this is their time. Just guess those few notes, just guess those few skills and change your farming pattern. Like I've always been telling you, it's farming for business. It's farming to get money. Not just farming because you have a land. This is what a farmer is doing differently when I and other few farmers are sleeping waiting for the rains to fall. Kevin the farmer. Yes. Always doing things differently from what other farmers do. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and that that what that what uh, makes you a different farmer and a farmer that I, I usually admire and um, la like or yearn to learn from. Mm -hmm. Like like as we speak as per now, even by the look of things, the crowd over there. The, 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 everything looks dark yes. because of the crowd. Mm -hmm. Th that's an indication that um, the rains are coming. Yes. And uh, it's short rain, which, according to the meteorological uh, report, it will be excess. But sometimes we farmers, we've seen so many reports that uh, there will be this and this, and sometimes the rain are, are not enough. But in your case, you're always ready for the best, for the worst. Yes. Why, why, so why do you do your things differently? Like, for example, why have you decided to, to have uh, uh, um, th this farm of maize uh, grown with water or germinated your, uh, your maize with water? Why are you starting this area as you wait for the rains? Basically, Fred. Yes. Uh, they say uh -huh. if you can't win by being unique, yes, you can actually win by being different. Huh? If you can't win by being unique, you can win by being different. You huh? can win by being different. Yes, do things differently. Yes, and uh, in that small difference, huh, in yes, money, yes, it actually means a lot. Yes, like uh, we have done some segments with you. Sure, sure, sure. You remember some of the ways we talked about how to actually escape some pests. Yes. Uh, we escape some diseases. Sure, sure. Uh, actually things that you can actually do mm -hmm. without actually using chemicals, you know? Yes. Uh -huh. things, huh? Uh -huh. One of them is actually early planting. Early planting. Early planting. What you've already done. What I've already done. Yes. You know, we, we are actually coming from a period of actually prolonged uh, dry conditions. Huh? Y yes. And uh, that is the best time to prepare your land. Okay. You do after preparation, you yes. realize even the weeds will not actually be a problem. Yeah, because you, you can see you can see the land is very clean. Very clean. On and you've not weeded. I have not actually weeded. <laughs> I only did first plowing uh -huh. in the initial opening up of the land. Yes. And uh, afterwards I did my furrows. Yes, yes. Uh, and then a furrow settings. Uh -huh. And then I did my planting. You did your planting. Yes. 
and you are telling me this planting you are doing is not irrigation planting. You are waiting for the rains. You are preparing for the rains. Exactly. As Fred is preparing the rad on the other side of the corner, yeah. waiting for the rains to plant, you've already planted, your maize has already germinated, and we are all still waiting for the rains. Remember, <laughs> yeah. I am like one month ahead. Of one month ahead of me. Yes. And we see, uh, maize takes like... Um, Depending on uh, the harvesting stage, yes, you want for green maize, mm -hmm. it's around three and a half. Three and a half, which is around seventy days, seventy to seventy-five 70 days. Seventy-five days. Uh huh. Or around ninety. You can give it ninety days. Oh, that ninety days is three months. Yes. Mm -hmm. Three months. Yes. Or if you want to actually put it for dry maize, yes, which is actually encouraged by the government, uh -huh. <laughs> you can actually do four months. Yeah, I've I've been I've been uh, trying to train farmers and educate them on different markets of maize. Yes. Of which you are among the champions or you are among the farmers who are practicing this. And among them is the green maize that I know that is your biggest target. Yes. Uh, the silage selling of the silage to the uh, to the dairy animal feeders. Yeah. Also, there is grain which is now what the government usually pushes for yes so all these farmers are in business but in different business exactly. and they make different returns when it comes to that yes but in your case i know you, like you said if you cannot win be different you, you just be different. yeah so you are different yeah. so the the the, the, the are planting other than the business we are going to mention the business part of it which other advantages why do you have an added advantage as compared to me who is waiting for the rains? One, I have several advantages. Yes. One, added planting, mm -hmm. it will actually reduce your cost, your operation cost. My operation time. cost? Yes. Yes. Because one of the major costs that a farmers in car, mm -hmm. farming, is actually to try to get rid of weeds. That is one. Yes, yes, See, yes. Uh -huh. You you can actually imagine uh -huh. like uh, this area here. Yes. You find people will start plowing and preparing land uh -huh. when they see the first drop of rain. When the rain falls. Exactly. Uh -huh. And you know, the way the weeds are actually built, uh -huh. they are also built in such a way that when they smell rain, it is very hard to control them. Very true. Uh -huh. Yes. You can actually see uh, a, 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 a piece of land uh, yes. where there is no there, there is no actually weeds. Yes. But after the first raindrop, yes. you realize the weeds will actually sprout like if they have been sent. Uh, from very somewhere. true. Very true. So one thing, one mm -hmm. advantage of early planting. Yes. One, you are, you are actually uh, you are able to escape the weeds. The weeds. That means when rain falls, the your maze will be. Knee high, yes, it will push your, your, your maize to knee high, exactly. That that means it is going to suppress it will suppress the weeds, the weeds, exactly. Not uh, actually totally removing the weeds, mm -hmm. it will actually suppress the weeds, yes, and then it will actually limit the parasitic ability of the weeds to actually feed on the maize, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. once they are covered, yes, they are kind of suppressed, mm -hmm. so they will not actually grow that vigorously, mm -hmm. yeah. And yes. then uh, you know. You, you have done this thing. Yeah. when you want to try to control weeds when it is raining don't try that especially manually exactly manually it's like planting the weed yes you like like in one of my farm there is a day we did the weeding the whole day we are weeding at night it rain yes tomorrow morning it was like we had planted the weed yes and again when you want to be selective herbicide yes and it is raining it's the trickiest it, it, part now. You see? It becomes like foliar. In fact, you are now polluting even the soil. You are polluting the soil even water. Yes. Yeah, yeah, very true, very true. So, uh -huh. uh, me, I do embrace early planting. Uh -huh. And when I do that, yes. before the rains come, like uh, this piece of land here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did like, uh, I planted like uh, three weeks ago. It's already three weeks old. It is already three weeks. Uh -huh. Three weeks, three and a half weeks old. It's three weeks. It is three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, I did plant it at uh, mid last month. Mm -hmm. so mid it's last month. Three and three and a half. Three weeks. Three and a half. Let, let's say it's three weeks old. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and you can see I'm escaping some very serious pests. Yes. And the farm is actually clean. It's very clean. In fact, I was to ask you what you've used for weeding so that I can uh, buy it for my next weeding. Yeah. Then I remembered it's it's under irrigation. So even where you are you are, you are irrigating, there are, there are no weeds. There are no weeds. And yeah. I have not done weeding. You have not done weeding? Yes. Also, also there is something I've, um, I've realized with uh, your um, hurry planting. Yeah. You have like hundred percent seed germination. Yeah, is it advantage? Is it an advantage because of the uh, of the early planting because of the heat, high heat in intensity? Because like for seed to germinate, we are told it needs warm, it needs water, and it needs uh, oxygen. Yes. So does it mean the warmth that is during drought uh, and uh, early germination is different from when it rains? Yeah. Because also the temperature changes. So, because you can see there is a big difference. You've already achieved like 100% because all these lines have 100% germination. You are a good observer. Yes, yes, yes. You, you realize when you do your planting, mm -hmm. when the soil is actually hotter, mm -hmm. you find that that warmth make the seeds actually grow very fast. Uh -huh. That is one thing. Yes. And then with me, yes. I usually do what is called, uh, I do soak my seeds. You do the soaking of your I seeds? I do the soaking. Then you plant them. And then I plant them. Mm -hmm. no, normally when you plant seeds, uh, yes. when you plant maize seeds, yes. they take around one week uh -huh. to germinate. Yes. Yeah. But when I do my soaking and then do planting, they take around four days. So, four so, so, so you're, you're telling me soaking of seeds, mm -hmm. uh, because like in watermelon, we soak them to break the seed dormancy. Yeah. So the same thing can happen in maize farming. You can break the maize seed dormancy by soaking them. Yes. How many hours are you supposed? How many days are you supposed to soak the seed? Most of the time, I do uh, soak overnight. That is twelve hours. Let's say twelve, 12 hours. Twelve hours. Twelve hours during the day you plant them, and then during the day mm -hmm. I do plant. You do the planting. And then remember now the soil is also hot. It's also very hot. So now it's bursting of seeds. Yes. And uh, germination of, of of the same. Yes. Wow. So uh, another advantage. Now we now I've known the one of the advantage of I've noted some. That is one. You yes. escape weeds. You escape weeds. When you escape escape weeds, yes. you escape some cost that are actually attached to weed control. So you yes. will cut your cost. You are cutting your cost, yes. That is one. Mm -hmm. Second thing, mm -hmm. you will actually be able to harvest early. And you have so many advantages of harvesting early. Yeah. You are yeah, a farmer yeah. also that business yes mm -hmm. you see when you actually produce your seed your crops huh? yes. or your maize mm -hmm. early mm -hmm. you are able to fetch good price in the market, in the market. and we, we are all saying we're in the same boat of rain fed maize and yes. you your harvesting is earlier than when you expect our maize. That is my competitive edge now. That now because I know in my case uh, the, 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 the group that I'm in mm -hmm. it will be in one we call in a one period of harvesting where the green where nobody will be buying green maize. Exactly. And you will sold you you will have sold your maize a month or two higher than a that. month or two. Yes, because already you are a month ahead. Yes. That means if rain falls today, you are a month ahead. If it falls next month, you are a month plus weeks ahead. Exactly. Wow, that, that's not a good trick. I think I need to do something about it. Yes, because imagine mm -hmm. you are going to buy the same seeds yes. with other farmers. Sure, sure. You all depend on the rain mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the generation of your seed. Yeah. What is your cutting age? Your cutting age, like me, is early planting. Early planting. Yes. But in my case, I, I, I have no cutting age. Yes. I'm just a farmer like any other farmer. You will compete with other farmers. Mm -hmm. Even if uh, the, the maize stock, the maize crop goes for around four shillings or three shillings, you will have no option. You will sell it at that price. Sell it all with, uh, until it dries now I sell for the government. Yes. <laughs> at a very cheap price. Yeah. And remember also, mm -hmm. uh, there is something here. You started by talking about meteorological the meteorological result or the yes. report, yeah. the report you are getting from the meteorological. You must also get ready for that because yes. when it rains sporadically mm -hmm. and over a long period of time, mm -hmm. you find that if you don't sell your, uh, your maize at yes. the right time, what yes. will happen? There is no time to dry it. So yeah. you can say, let me leave it, mm -hmm. I will dry it and then sell it as a as dry 
maze. Yes, yes. What yes. about if uh, the meteorological uh, report is true? It means that you will not be able to sell the dry maize. Sure. They will end up uh, with the uh, issues of aflatoxin. Aflatoxin also yes. going bad at the farm. At the farm because you can't dry them. Yes, yes. So you also prepare for the worst as you expect the best. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I think these, these these are some some classes we we farmers or the small scale farmers need to learn yeah. because like I've been telling you I'm a champion over the small scale farmer yeah. to to train them or to teach them how to farm the best varieties the best nutrition and also I'm on the process of teaching them how to make money with what they farm yeah. I think this is among the skill they need to embrace for them to make money because it becomes so worrying or it becomes so 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 discouraging when we home it at the market yeah. we are selling the same commodity we have nobody to buy whatever we are we are selling mm -hmm. then we go crying and cursing farming thinking that it's farming that uh, that is bad yeah yet Mm -hmm. A farmer like you has known the secret and you are doing good about it. Yes. Wow, I, I like I like it. So what else? Away from now from um uh, the the business part of it, early uh, early planting, uh you you escape weed, you make money. Which other advantage can, can a farmer be or which which is an added advantage as compared to now to the rain fed farmer? Who is waiting for the rain to fall, just like mm -hmm. for the rain to fall. Another thing also mm -hmm. is about you are able to escape some diseases, uh -huh. and some diseases and pests. Yes. Uh -huh. So you are able to escape some pests mm -hmm. when uh, other people will be crying about fall armyworm. Yes. You will actually be one step ahead because you will have controlled them very early. Mm -hmm. That is one thing. And then also, for, uh, we have talked about the the, the, the prices. The prices, yes. After you have harvested. Yes. That's another advantage. Mm -hmm. Any other advantage? And uh, just, just uh, follow me home. Yeah. Have you spread anything against follow me home here? As you speak, mm. I have not yet. You have not applied anything. Not and yet. if it were for the rainfed, we will be, uh, we, we will have seen the attack of the forum. Mm. Yes, of course. Wow, wow. I, I think this this is the way to go. And is it is it applicable in large scale or it's just for the scale small scale for but you are you are not a small scale for you are big <laughs> yeah I can right. you're scaling up, you're scaling big. Yes. And I like uh, everything you are doing. So uh this this uh method or this mechanism um because some farmers may may ask those farmers who are unable to get the irrigation, who, are, who, who lacks an advantage of irrigation yeah. water, because that's one of your biggest advantages. Mm -hmm. Is there any other way they can be able to have a pre-germination or early planting like this as they wait for the leaves? Yes, there is actually uh, an emerging trend mm -hmm. whereby you, 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 you do pre-germination. You use the pre-germination. Whereby the seeds or uh, the maces are raised in a nursery. Just like the tomatoes. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, they are raised in the nursery. Mm -hmm. And then transplanting is done at around 25 days after planting. 25 days. That that around the same same age with the this same one. Same age. With, same with, with what I'm with seeing. What, uh, here. you're seeing here. Uh -huh. Three weeks and some few days. Uh -huh. Exactly what uh, the, the age of my crops in people. Yes. You see? Yeah. So when you do that, mm -hmm. it also has some advantages. Okay. Because one, mm -hmm. you are able to, you know, you are depending on the rainfall. Yes. So you do your calculation well, the yeah. number of days. Yes. And then you are able to keep this crop for about three to four weeks as you wait for the rainfall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then immediately after the rainfall, the first drop, mm -hmm. the second day, you actually do your transplanting okay. with a ball of soil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you do your transplanting yes. just as uh, what we do in uh, in, uh, in in tomatoes. In tomatoes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And that um, is an advantage because you will escape some cost yes. of irrigating. Uh -huh. And then, as you have said, I have an advantage whereby I have a river. Yes. Nearby. Yes. So I do my uh, irrigation as I wait for the rainfall. Okay. So 
basically the rainfall is only to supplement mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to also cut cost. Yes. Yeah. But for those who are actually doing it without any kind of irrigation, because yes. they are depending on uh, rainfall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a very good kind of uh, technology you can try. Whereby the, the, the seeds are grown in a nursery. Yes. And then after around uh, 25 days, mm -hmm. they are transplanted here. Wow, 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 yes. wow, wow. You, uh, every day is a learning day. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, uh, one of the biggest advantage I've seen from your side is every time I visit you, I think uh, I've, I've learned it all, but I learned something new. Yeah. Because this is the first time I'm getting um, a, a different training on. I'm getting from a farmer that you can pre-germinate the seeds and transplant them. Yeah. Even those who are watching us don't know this. Majority of them have heard it from you. Mm -hmm. And it, and the good thing is it's practical because everything I've, I've seen your farm, yeah. you talk practical. You don't use theories. No. You, you you share something that you've experienced, something that you've done. Yeah. Now, because that, that is the best way. If they want to get into business, they must know the trick and they must know the secret. Yes, exactly. And that is what you've used, you've been using to to chop money with. Yes. To make money with. You must have your a trade secret, huh? which <laughs> I've shared with you. <laughs> yeah, so, so many secrets. And uh, you know, I usually tell them um, I'm among the few farmers who usually give them the secret other farmers used to success. Yeah. So if they take it positively, if they take it uh, as an advantage to them and apply it just just knowing is is of no advantage to them yeah. knowing and applying is what they need and in order to learn yeah. yes, yes 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 so i think i'm i'm, I'm happy for the for the information about the pre-germination about the seedling i've known the seed, the seedling leasing is of important now let's wait for the lease I think I'm going to do the, the pre-germination before the rain falls because you can see the crowd and, it and I also is very you. expectant. Yes, and I also invite you after a few months yes. when my crops are ready to try to compare with the people who are waiting for the rain. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be uh, I'm always here. Maybe let's say it's already uh, three weeks from three today. Weeks, yeah. uh, maybe in one, one and a half months, mm -hmm. I'll be here again to see the result, to see the difference between these and also uh, the, the, um, the ones that comparing like. it with the with ones that we did after the rainfall or during the rainfall because yeah. they are two different things. You are doing it good. You are doing it the best way. Thank you. Kevin. Thank you, Kevin, for the information. Yeah. Every day is a learning day. Mm -hmm. And those who are watching us have learned from you. They have learned the new skills about farming maize and if this is your first time you're watching us make sure you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue learning together bye